But health officials say for all the good booster shots do, they won't necessarily help end the pandemic. Coming up on WGEM News today, we're hearing from the Adams County Health Department about how our community can put COVID-19 behind us. Well, new at 10, we are hearing from more Quincy leaders concerning the manpower shortage the Quincy Fire Department is experiencing. Fire Chief Bernie Volkamp says he's very much aware of the short staffing. He says the number of firefighters is now up to 58 as they have added three people. Only one is currently working, though. Another who was hired last week is finishing training and another who is attending basic fire Fighting Academy will join a shift in mid November. Volcamp says while 58 is an improvement, they would like to see that number get up to 60. It's going to take work with the administration to continue to show the need for the numbers, the, the need for the two more firefighters. Uh, I believe we've got a good working relationship and we're going to attempt to get there. So I'm not uh, so worried about that. We got, but we got to find a way to make it work. Yes. And at the Fire Aldermanic Committee meeting tonight, the committee approved a supplemental budget that includes $140,000 to cover increased overtime, along with $13,000 for new air cylinders and $70,000 for new windows at the central fire station.